guys, welcome to another vlog. Um, today I am filming a self-care day. I have a really busy work weekend coming up. Every time I feel like I have a busy weekend of work ahead of me, if I can swing it, I'll try to clear my schedule you know, the couple of days beforehand and just really rest as much as I can those days. Wedding days take everything out of me and I'm sapped at the end of the day, winding down and really trying to relax myself and preserve my energy and restore my energy before a busy work week is actually really helpful for me because then I feel like I can go into the wedding day like very energized and, you know, ready to go. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today, and I thought it'd be fun to take you guys along and film the process. Recently, I've had this panic where I realized that summer is almost over, and if you live in the Midwest or if you live somewhere where you have winters that are long and harsh, you might understand a little bit of that panic that I'm feeling. <laughs> just thinking about how like it's gonna be a very different world outside soon. So I wanna try to take advantage of that and I wanna try to get out today. Um, I'm meeting with a friend around noon for a picnic. Yeah, thought I'd just take you along today. It's gonna be a super chill day. First things first, I've got to take our cat Twiggy out on a walk because otherwise she will never let me hear the end of it. So let's go do that right now. up around the house a little bit and now I think that I just need to spend some time clearing out my inbox that will help me so much just like that no one's waiting on me to respond and I think that it will just help me relax the rest of the day so I'm gonna spend a little bit of time doing that right now and then we will carry on with our self day uh, our self-care day I'm also forcing myself to drink a ton of water today because for my job in particular where I'm working long days and I I don't have um, many breaks. I just feel so much better when I'm hydrated. So I'm gonna try my best to drink as much water as I can and be as hydrated as I can. I've also noticed that it's incredibly helpful for my skin. I probably like everyone else feel like I've gotten some mask knee just through like wearing masks everywhere I go. And especially when you're outside and it's been hot lately, you know, you're like breathing into it and it's getting really damp and moist in there. And um, I am really gonna try to drink a ton of water today. I don't, I don't even know, I don't even know how much this holds. I'm gonna try to drink at least three or four of these today. So this is my first one. Cheers. I love seeing this male icon with not a single notification on it. I don't know if you can see it. It's so satisfying. I need to go to the grocery store. I have to go pick up some food and as well as get some snacks for my weddings this weekend. I'm always snacking throughout the day any chance I get because I feel like I constantly need that energy. <laughs> so dried fruit, any kind of nut, anything that is that I can pack up and snack on throughout the day while I'm working. All right, let's get going. home just sort of long enough to unpack my groceries. I'm going to run to the park and meet my friend. 
um, just to catch up and chat and um, enjoy enjoy the outside. Take a quick sip of my water. Almost done with the first bottle. I think I'm gonna regret this at the picnic. <laughs> guys I am just on my way back from my lovely picnic at the park with my friend Chloe it actually really turned out to be a super lovely day I'm glad that I got out there I wanted to stay longer I even brought my book thinking that I might want to just lay out and read for a bit after Chloe left but I ended up just having so much water beforehand that I really really had to pee and I had to cut it short so that I could go home and use the bathroom. Honestly it's probably not a bad thing since it's already two o'clock and I haven't had lunch yet so excited to go home get some food and continue my day of self-care. <laughs> There's no better feeling than pulling into your, uh, well, we don't have a driveway, so pulling it into the side of your street and knowing that you will just be home for the rest of the day. Let's go get inside. I watched about an episode and a half of Peaky Blinders. It's helpful for me to change up what I'm doing because I find that if I just watch TV for several, several hours at a time, it doesn't always make me feel better. What I found to be most helpful for me is when I kind of take shifts doing different things that nourish different parts of me and entertainment for me is always super easy to consume. I don't feel like I have to think. I'm just literally, my body is at rest. Um, but if I do that for too long, I can start to kind of feel antsy or start to feel like not as great. Um, I get the most out of it when I just do it for a little bit. So I'm about halfway done with my second bottle. So I'm gonna try to finish this up and then pour my third. <laughs> the most amazing dinner it was so so good um, and Tyler so graciously offered to clean so that means it's bath time I'm so excited I want to show you guys what my setup looks like I haven't started the water obviously but just looking at it is already making me feel more calm I don't read. I watch YouTube or Netflix on my iPad. For the longest time, I try to make reading happen because I just feel like that's the stereotypical thing to do in the bath. But honestly, it just never worked for me because my hands were always wet and I was always trying to turn a page and watching a show or watching something on YouTube is like the perfect way for me to hands-free just rest and just watch something entertaining. That's what I'm gonna be doing today. And then I'm very excited about this. I ordered these bubble bath bars from Lush. They're supposed to be like multi-use bars that you just kind of run under the water as the water is going and it, it creates bubbles as opposed to buying a bottled bubble bath solution. I, I was surprised that it was wrapped in its in a plastic bag but i guess they need to keep the moisture out so that they kind of have to do that i'm not sure anyways let's get the water drawn and see how this bubble bath does
of the best baths that I have ever had. It was so relaxing. I stayed in there for about an hour until the bath water got cold. I feel so relaxed right now. I'm in my jammies. I think I'm just gonna read for the rest of the night and then wash my face and go to bed. finally washing that super dry and tight mask off. Alrighty guys, that's it for me. I'm wiped, I'm ready to go to sleep. I will be able to finish the rest of this bottle. I definitely don't think I'm gonna be able to finish a fourth one, but um, I, what did I say, 34 ounces each? Yeah, over 100, I'm good. I'm hydrated. Thank you guys so much for following along. I hope that it was fun for you to watch. Uh, just the different ways that I practice self-care. It looks different for everybody and I also think that we need different things all the time. So today these were just the things that I felt like I needed and I wanted to give them to myself. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all next week.